Nothing like going back to where it all started. Hey guys, I said I would do this back in the summer of last year, but since in between episodes I am going to try and do this, I am going to try and review every single Supernatural episode leading up to the current ones. I have been a fan of this show for ever since the beginning, but technically not the beginning. I actually watched the season finale of the first episode of the first season first. And then my dad bought the discs, and we went and we watched every single episode. So the first one I'm going to start with, obviously, is the pilot. Now, the pilot has a lot of interesting stories. The scene where Sam and Dean actually go to the car after he's told Sam that Dad's been on a hunting trip and he hasn't been home in a few days. Apparently, the dialogue for this scene was rewritten, like, hundreds of times, supposedly. Eric Kripke says that they had to try and explain everything of the past in less than a minute without making it too obviously... Expo uh, exposition. However, there are some lines that did that. There are some moments where Sam says stuff that is clearly exposition that you wouldn't say in real life. Otherwise, it's still pretty good. That was a really difficult scene. This sequence of conversations would have been really difficult to try and explain everything. We also then meet the woman in white. They're obviously taking on one of the biggest highway ghost story phenomenons of all time. And I like the girl who played the woman in white. She has this face that is all at the same time seductive, remorseful, and horrifying all at the same time. And it's a very interesting concept that I've always found quite intriguing about her character. They also find out the brother's means of investigation where they go and talk to people of the deceased and find out their connection. Obviously it follows kind of the same sort of procedure of a cop drama, but obviously with a very big twist. We also find out about Dad's journal, which is a huge pillar of everything that was in the first five seasons of Supernatural. This journal was freaking key to at least the first three seasons. Everything that was in this journal was basically the boy's guide. And it's been really, really missed in my opinion. I have missed this journal so much because of how useful and how integral it was to what the boys were doing. Other aspects of the show are the weapons, the humor with the uh, jerk bitch. The driver picks his music and the shotgun shuts his cake hole. Another funny thing about that is he's listing off all the cassettes that are in the car, Motorhead, ACDC. Metallica is the one that he holds up in his hand, yet when he puts it in, that there plays ACDC. Supposedly, they couldn't get the rights to a Metallica song, so they had to go with ACDC despite the fact that they had done that scene. And the ending is pretty climactic too. We see the boys drive the car into the house, and then we see the ghost effects. They never really did this again. This weird sort of mix of hell-like goo and screams and skeletons. I don't know. They've never done it since. It was obviously a pilot episode, but I've always found the how they did that effect was probably one of the in, most interesting effects. They never did it again. But it was still a really cool way to catch people in. Obviously, this is still the most watched episode in the history of Supernatural as well. So they definitely did some cool things to really set you in. And then finally, how the episode ends with Jessica being up on the ceiling, being burned to death, and then the brother, and then Sam throwing the shotgun into the car and saying, "We've got work to do." Very interesting moment because that scene was exactly repeated, just with Dean doing it at the end of season two. So the things that I've always found very interesting about the first season, and sort of the second season as well, is how the show was shot. The show is still being filmed on film, so there's a lot more darkness to the shots. There's a lot of actual sort of horror elements. Not saying that Supernatural, well actually yeah, Supernatural isn't scary anymore. It's cool, it's entertaining, it's funny, but it's not scary anymore. They've lost that aspect just due to how well lit the show is now. But how they first shot it, there's a lot of shadows, there's a lot of darkness, there's a lot of caricatures, sort of them being half in the shadow, half in the light. And I've always liked how they shot the show at the beginning, and I wish they would do it again. But either it's how they were shot, either it helped the DOP wanted, or it's just of how the film has transferred over to digital. But either way, I really missed how they first shot this show. And it was probably one of my favorite aspects. 
it's kind of cool to see Mary again, considering we wouldn't see her again. Well, actually, no, we'll see her a few times as ghosts and then past Mary, but we won't see the main Mary alive again until 12 seasons later. So how did the first episode rate up in the end? Well, like I said, there are some obvious exposition scenes. Some of the fight scenes are a little odd, some of the editing's a little here, hmm, here and there. But the acting is pretty good, The how they were able to shove in all of this content into the first episode was pretty exceptional. And it got you hooked. Though it didn't get me hooked because I didn't see it yet. But in, in my opinion, if I had watched this, I would have been hooked at just how well shot it was, how the acting was, and how cool the concept was. This was 15 year old me seeing this for the first time like, cool, hunting ghosts, that's sweet. So in the end, I'm going to give the pilot episode of Supernatural a 6 out of 7. I really had a lot of fun rewatching this episode, and I can't wait to watch Wendigo and everything else and just see how many episodes I can review. We'll see if I review all of them, but I want to try and rank them too, in terms of seasons. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed this review. Catch you on the next one.